What's up, y'all? It's your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Savage. Back with another morning message. Grand rising, grand rising, and a grand rising. Grand rising and an even higher ascension. How's everybody's day going? It is uh, like 30 seconds away from 444. So we're just going to say 443. 444, today is August 7th, 2023. Glad you all are here with me today. Let's thank the Most High God for burning up food in the morning. Hold on, y'all. Thank you for holding. <laughs> I literally thought I was at work. Like, thank you for holding. Um, my bad, y'all. But y'all ever um, get, like start cooking something and then you'd be like, you smell it. You're like, I don't want to eat that. I'm not eating that shit. So I guess there'd be an egg sandwich this morning. I don't know. I think I'm about to just start being a vegetarian, dude. Because this, uh, I ain't really feeling meat. Unless it's chicken. I'm a, I probably own me a chicken farm one day. I love me. I probably couldn't kill him, though. I love to eat chickens, though. Damn, Skippy. Buck, 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 buck. All right, let me know. Stop being silly. And thank you for joining me this morning. Let's just thank the Most High God for bringing us together today. Let's thank the Most High God for allowing me to give you this message. And uh, I appreciate the Most High God letting you appreciate this message. And if you don't appreciate the message, that's your fucking problem. And that's the true proof. All right, hold on. All right, so uh, thank you, Soul Tribe family. Thank you, Spirit Guides and Spirit Teams. Thank you for blessings and wonders. Wondrous belief systems, I guess. I don't know the fuck that means. What's up, baby? Um, I also would like to thank my mother, who I love very much. So thanks, Mom, for teaching me everything I know. You're wonderful. You're awesome. I know me and my, see, me and my mom, we fell out a few years ago. But, you know... It was okay because we both the same kind of person, you know, uh, you just understand that people, parents don't have to like their kids. And nine times out of 10, if you don't like your kids, parents, it's probably because you see a lot more of you and them than you want to, or you see a lot more of the motherfucker you was having sex with to have that motherfucker. Somebody you also loved very much, or maybe didn't. I don't know. All I know is this. I love my mom. I love my parents. They, they, nobody's perfect. Um, and so you don't have to be either parents. Shit. My son told me one time, I hate you. Well, I fucking hate you too. I still love you. But I don't have to like your ugly ass. Like, for real. Fuck are you. Get a job. That's how the argument went, you know. So it is what it ain't. Like, share, follow, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I post a video for you. Alright? I'd like to thank my ancestors... Uh, for giving me an opportunity to represent their struggles, to overcome their struggles, to break generational curses for them, to have conversations with them, to protect their legacy, to slap a bitch in the mouth for talking shit about my ancestors. You heard. I ain't mad. They shouldn't be neither. You should watch your fucking mouth. Dead ass. I just heard spiritually spit on you, bitch. And to ungrateful family members that try to uh, sully the names of ancestors, that try to fuck up legacies because you're a greedy, simple-minded, remedial, ignorant, slutty bitches and niggas, y'all gonna get y'all shit today. Don't you do it, trip. Cut your ass. Yeah. Y'all gonna get y'all shit today. I said so. Because y'all are just some f fucking... F d ugly wicked bitches bad breath bitches and niggas and nobody likes your ass you don't even like yourselves and that's your problem too busy worried about what somebody else is getting to get your own shit and you want to take from people and shit because you're jealous and shit who's jealous who does that i don't know what that's like i'm too fucking pretty for that shit that's what i heard all right so enough of that I don't know if that's negative. Not, that's not negativity in the morning. It's just uncle being uncle. You know, uncles get up in the morning. They grumpy. They talk shit. They kick, they kick cats and slap kids upside their heads and scratch their balls and their booty and shit. I don't do that. I don't do that kind of shit. Not for nobody to see any kind of way. And I don't kick animals and shit unless they, unless they bite me. They bite me. They getting kicked. I don't give a fuck. They got teeth. Like, oh, you can't be cruel to animals. Animals shouldn't be cruel to people. You know, motherfucker. If a dog bites me, I'm kicking that bitch. How about that? And if a cat bites me, you know what I do? My cats bite me, I bite them motherfuckers back. Karma ain't bit me since. I bit the fuck out that bitch. She bit me, and it hurt too. I bit her mother, picked her ass up, and bit her motherfucking ass back. 
Just like you do a kid. That bitch has not put her teeth anywhere on my body since. And that was eight months ago. I dare I dare to. The fuck you talking about a fucking cat biting people and shit. Who does I, bitch, I just fed you. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, ho. All right, let's do it. That's 515 on the clock. Thank you, Collector, for joining me this morning. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell, for real, for real. All right. Um... I've been picking up on some energy. We're going to see what comes out in the cards. I'm hearing this morning that people should really, really grow up and stop making assumptions about people. I mean, assumptions are what... People assuming things is uh, is what put me in a really bad situation for a long time. Because people just, oh, yeah. He looks like he's a fucking slut. He looks like he deals drugs. He looks like blah, 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 blah. You know. I saw him talking to himself. So... Alex Scott, Alex Trebek, New Jeopardy. I'll take uh, mind your own fucking business for six hundred, Alex. Shit, worry about who the fuck I'm talking to. Somebody's um, somebody's growth has stopped. A screeching halt. I just heard. Or maybe an air sign, earth sign. I mean, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Somebody's growth stopped. I don't know what they was doing though. I don't really care. Why am I picking up on like multiple people? Like got men. Well, we know why. I'm... Or some people in their masculine energy could be man, could be women, switch it how you ready. But this is like men. So men have been stopped. The growth of the growth of a bunch of men. Talking about a fire sign. Three of Wands. Uh, they didn't know something was coming in. Is that what I heard? Thank you. Um, the growth of new life. A new life. A new life. The growth of a new... New life. I'm picking up. But, you know, Page of Cups, Couple of Innocence. Kind of Couple of... Very, naive type shit somebody maybe somebody okay so somebody tried to stop or something got stopped the growth of the growth of this could be past tense, but the growth of somebody's new life was stopped immediately this could have been past tense too take out red nates This could also represent generational wealth, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like an inheritance or like life insurance. Or this could be an investment into a company. The investment. Oh, somebody pulled out from uh, somebody pulled out from investing in a company. That's what I just heard. New life, new opportunity. Mm-hmm. A bunch of different investors. That's why there's eights. There's eights. There's eight ones. Okay. Somebody people pulled out of an investment or somebody. <sighs> Pulling out is not an effective uh, method of birth control, kids. It's it's not. It does not work. Yeah, so there's not going to be new, any type of new ideas coming out of this shit because they pulled out. <laughs> uh, it's fucking hilarious. Fucking pulling out, man. Let me just put the head in. All right, the three of pentacles. Yep, there's not going to be any type of collaboration either. That's a done deal. Nope, they said nope. And they mean it. Mm hmm. Give me another one, please. 919 on the clock. I hope I'm not too boring this morning, and if I am, find somebody else to sleep with or wake up to. That's how that works. Yeah. They um somebody took it. either they're either they are damn fool. They not a fool. Or yeah, they not a fool. They didn't want to take the risk. They didn't take the risk. Somebody didn't want to take a risk on this collaboration. Just about to say somebody said that because they're a fucking liar. Um, but yeah, this is about um, healing. The starting up right. 
they, they, they it was a bad bit like a, it wouldn't have been good for business it would have been toxic for business to go into partnership with whomever all right let me get the um well, who are we talking about? The, who, who, uh, who's the who's the motherfucking idiot? Who's the, who's the, who's too much of a risk? Thank you. Yep, ten of swords. I can't make this up. Mm -mm. So this could have been an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or oh, so check it. Some people planted some seeds. That's stopped a bunch of people from coming towards a new opportunity maybe new love maybe somebody blocked a bunch of suitors damn yep because they went into and they were like yeah and they wanted somebody to join the ranks there was th three three little dick wicking bitches if that makes any sense you can be have you can be a woman have a little dick like that's just that's your ego that's what i kind of you know you tell a man he got a little dick like, listen i'm telling you right now if i was out in public and I was, you know, if I dated, if I still dated chicks and uh, we at the mall or something and we get into an argument, you know, sometimes, you know, I got a big mouth. I got a nasty mouth, too. You know what I'm saying? As you guys know. Uh, but you could be, you know, I know how women are. Most of my friends are women. You feel me? Shit. I'm in my Empress Energy. I get it. But you got no one to shut the fuck up. Okay? Because uh, I'm telling you right now, if I was ever in a mall and she, nigga, that's why you got a little dick. <laughs> what bitch <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna be going to jail you don't say that shit you don't say that shit in no mall you know so what you gonna say that's why you got a little pussy that don't even make sense she just clowned you in front of all these people all them girls you know and to be honest with you like if you're seeing two people argue like that that means they've been together for a minute and if somebody looks at somebody and goes that's why he got a little ass dick then that's probably the truth and she done told everybody that and don't nobody wanna fuck with you that's the truth Ruth I said that to a couple of people and they wanted to fight me, but they couldn't. But they couldn't hang. You try to whoop your ass. I, and I said it. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, but that's that's some. That's that's why you should never cheat on a man, collective. Nieces, nephews, y'all just flew it any damn way. Come have a seat. Don't ever cheat on a man. If you cheat on a man, what that does, a man will never ever forgive you. See, women are more women are more understanding in that area. Because, again, men judge themselves by the size of their job, the size of their car, the, the, how beautiful their wife is, how beautiful, big and beautiful their house is. You get where I'm going with this? Yeah. If you tell a man that he got a small... Figure it out. If you cheat on him, what you're telling him is that his wand, his wand isn't good enough. And it fucks with him mentally, like it gets in his head, and it gets like buried deep inside in the crevices. He might, oh, I believe, oh, I, I, I um, I, 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 I forgive you, baby. In his mind, he's in his mouth, he's saying that, but in his mind, he's like, bitch, I'm gonna fuck all your friends, your mother, your sisters, and probably even your brother, depending on how angry I am. Because at this point, you were his. See, when a man chooses you, and this is what people have to understand. Stop it, you motherfuckers. This is what you got to understand. When a man chooses you, and it is different, different dynamics, 3 3 3 on the clock, as I said it, because it's true, dead ass. So when a man chooses you, you become a very precious item for him. And it's men, men claim, men, men own, men are very dominant. We all know this. But you got to understand that, you know, people are very simple. Women are more complicated than men, but men are very simple creatures. If you can feed them, Make sure he got something clean to wear. Let him uh, eat cereal in his drawers and watch cartoons. You keep a clean house. You keep the kids in line. You give him some Becky every morning during lunchtime and at night. You ain't got shit better to do, but I mean, if he's if he's rich, you might as well. Shit, I'm just saying. If that's your man. But you got it's it's you're, you're supposed to make each other happy, and that's why it's so it's you got to find somebody that's evenly yoked with your ass. But what I'm pretty much saying is men are very simple. Until you cheat on him. He ain't never going to respect you. And he, he, I'm telling you, he'll never respect you. Because at that point, it's like, well, if you cheated on him, then obviously you don't like what he's get offering you at all. So his whole thing is like, well, what the fuck is you with me for? Time to move on. Or I'm going to get your ass back. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. 
I was never that. I'm not because I'm too, I, I'm too much of my feminine energy. Back in the day, though, hell yeah. But you cheat on me, I'm cheating. I'm. It's a game on. How about that? But we, you grow up and you learn. But I don't think that ever changes for men. If you cheat on your husband, if you cheat on your man, he he may still love you, but he's never ever gonna look at you the same because he. It's like in the jungle. Don't know fucking like okay when I brought the cat home and Karma was gonna kill him because it's her territory. She owns this house. She owns these things. Mark their sin. Dogs piss all over the place. So just look at it like this, ladies. When you get with a man, he pees all over you. He like he pees on you. And when you walk past other men, other men sniff you and they go, oh, you know, he's like, Ooh. And he's like, Ugh. like get up off my bitch, literally. Got him peed all over her. This is mine. <laughs> R. Kelly shit. And so, yeah, it's territorial shit. And once you let another man touch you, when you've been with him, he don't want you no more. And I'm going to just tell you this. Uh, every time I looked at somebody that had cheated on me, all I, every time I looked at them, I just looked at them having sex with whoever they cheated on me with. And it and it drove me insane and to the point of almost kind of murdering somebody one time. Because you're going to sit in my face and you're going to be disrespectful after I, I don't even see you no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't even see you. I see what you was doing with who. And I already whooped his ass. So I think you should just be quiet. Like, that's how I felt. Anyway. I'm not like that no more though, because if you fucking if you cheat on me, you just gotta go. I don't really give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck. We've been together for fifty fucking years. If you love me that much, you'll make sure I don't ever find out. And it better only happen at one time. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Who cheats on people? People still cheat on people? What all the herpes and shit? Demons and shit? That's weird. That's the truth, Ruth. Mm-hmm. So back to the story. Somebody planted some seeds to stop people going towards a new destination of life, a new opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you got three ugly wicked bitches. Who made everybody who made somebody a damn fool. Made a fool out of somebody. Or they took an uncalculated risk. To ten of swords, an air sign, a Gemini Libra or Aquarius. Or somebody that knows how to stand on their tippy toes real good against a wall with knives in their body. I don't know. But somebody looked into something. This is like a, a, a what do you call it? A forensic scientist. You see, he's holding a knife. This was the knife that Liberace ate his last steak with. That's what I heard. Yeah, and um, they unfold. They followed the plans of the. Th oh damn. You got three wicked bitches and three ugly warlock niggas that are remedial. Who, who draws out plans, intricate plans, and a fucking crayon? Nigga, please. So you got three wicked bitches and three stinking breath warlocks. Little dick warlocks. Hmm. So what does that mean? Oh, sex party. Sex magic. Under the, under the moon is what I just heard. Y'all, these stories be coming to me. And, and mind you, like, these don't think, they, like, unless I, I, I mean, this shit, I don't know. I mean, I'm not making this shit up as I go along. I hope you guys believe this. But also, too, this ain't shit I done been through. Like, that, that you know what I'm saying? Like, if, because they wouldn't, if, it, if I was a part of any of this and I was aiding on the plan, they would have never got caught. Imagine that. That's why you got caught, bitches. All right, yep. They've been holding on to some money. It was on, yeah. They got paid to do it. See? But now you're sinking in quicksand quickly. Somebody likes Harlem Knights. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you didn't do a good job. Somebody didn't do a good job. Because you were doing your plans in crayon? Crayons? Crayola? Somebody's name is Crayola? <sighs> Somebody's from Mississippi. Gulfport, Mississippi? Yeah. Uh, Virgo. Somebody's a uh, Virgo. Or somebody is uh, gone and into hiding. Somebody's on the mountains. Somebody went on like a, yeah, okay, so King of Pentacles. Somebody lost all they day. Oh, shit, I don't, look, listen, listen. Got the hermit. Somebody, somebody walked away. Left it all behind. Because this is King of Pentacles. Yep. And it has some, I don't know why, I always see like FBI law enforcement type shit, CIA kind of shit. Because he looks like it. Dragnet type shit. Like he's like he's like his wife and him have been divorced like uh, for twenty five years. 
and he hasn't been right. Like he chain smoked cigarettes. He probably looks like you know. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. Yeah, it says the emperor. An emperor walked away um, from some type of healing. I walked away from a star. Or some way he walked away from healing. Walked away from his spirit guide, spirit, or maybe he just walked away from things that were no longer serving him. That that's what this could also mean too. It doesn't mean always mean that somebody's not getting healing, but you gotta follow the story. Yeah, he walked away. So, he, or maybe he walked because he wasn't getting anything healing where he was. So he walked away. Emperor did. That's what I heard. <sighs> Let me get a couple more. I'm calling quits for now. Quitters are for people. Quitters are for people with a lot of determination. What do people always say? Something ain't for quitters. I don't know what the fuck people say. It takes a lot more to quit doing something than it does to keep doing something. You feel me? Bling. Drop the gym. Like, share, follow, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, please. I said please. All right, so somebody's that. Well, what we're just finding out is that. So these people, there's two. There's like three different storylines here. I need you to keep up. I'm not a librarian, you know. I'm a writer. I ain't a librarian, though. This damn do rag is hurting my damn hair. Seasick. <laughs> Y'all think people do think I'm so damn slow? I am slow about a lot of things. I don't get. I don't get. I don't get like when people initially do something, like sarcasm. I'd be like, oh, that was nice of them to say. And everybody be looking like, this nigga's stupid. He's dead. He just got clowned. And then it's like, I'd be doing something like 45 minutes later. I'd be at the same place with the same people. I'd be in the kitchen and Spirit goes, what's up? I'm like, you didn't hear what he said? Like, yeah, I heard what he said. You're just being nice. Spirit's like, no. Rethink what he said. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. 45 minutes later, I'm like, Mm hmm. And it got good. Yeah. But, anyways, all I'm pretty much that's what I'm saying. All right. So, let's. Oh, damn. Look at this. We got the five of wands and the seven of wands. So, all these people started fighting with each other. Mm hmm. But now they had to stop coming after somebody. That's the seven. Mm hmm. Two people, really. Because there's two people in that car. There's usually one person in that car, but there's two. Um, so all these people did all that bullshit to stop to to like fight with each other, only just have to stop fighting with those people. And this has caused somebody a great amount of dissatisfaction in their life. The point where they don't even take off their high heels before they lay in that bed. I'm thinking she's mad because this is all the niggas she fucked. She's thinking about her choices. That's the truth, Ruth. Clarity. She got clarity. Yeah. You get a picture in the back? Uh-huh. And that's the person that walked off. What is the hermit card out here? Yeah, this person's on a cliff walking away. That's the that's the person in the hermit card, so this bitch is mad. She's sad she can't be a low vibrational slut again. She can't treat him badly. She can't do like uh, dark magic. See, this is like young passionate, passionate new beginnings, young passionate ideas. This is somebody who's passionate, but young, immature, immature. She can't play. The, she okay. She she's sad because she now realizes that it was this that got him to go do this. That's what I heard. You don't have to agree with me, but you don't gotta disagree with me either. Keep your shit to your bullshit to yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Told you. She a damsel. I heard damsel. Damsel. Thank you for joining me this morning, Soul Tribe family. Y'all know y'all the only friends and family I got now, so. Good luck. Somebody, somebody's sitting around going, he's not funny unless he's drinking. I agree. I can't drink like that no more, kids. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's fertile. Somebody's pregnant. Somebody's pregnant. Like, literally pregnant. And older, like you two. I'm gonna say somebody's too damn old to be pregnant. I said it. 2442 is coming up. Somebody too motherfucking old to be pregnant. Cause this lady look up. She's pretty, but she look old. I mean, you're pretty, but you old. You too old to be having a baby. Whoever you are. 
How the hell are you going to be 85 when your baby turned 15? Crazy. See? Mm-mm. Clearly, -mm. you lying about being pregnant. You lying about who the daddy is. You may not know who the daddy is, Queen of Swords. You're too damn old to be pregnant. Mm-hmm. See? Queen of Cups at the bottom in the reverse. You're too damn old to be pregnant. Not, oh, it's a gift. Let me just rephrase that. You're too damn old not to be using protection. You know better. Yeah, if you're, but something's going to put you in some type of prison. Spiritual jail. You did uh, some type of what? Let's get some good energy, Dad. Let's have the good energy. What? Yeah. Somebody's selling off the common waters, though. You got a bunch of storylines this morning, y'all. It ain't just one. Mm -mm. Let me get good energy, Dad. Thanks, Dad. All right. <clears throat> So somebody's coming, uh, it's an earth angel. Somebody's going towards an earth angel fast. That's good, isn't it? Somebody's going ahead towards balance, maybe? Or going towards a Virgo? Capricorn? I'm not Capricorn, Sagittarius. What am I talking about, Gemini? Gemini, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo? What? That don't even make sense. Anyway, 6 or 6 o'clock. But somebody's going towards an earth angel, or an earth, an earth, an earth angel's going somewhere fast, taking fast action towards them. The truth, Ruth. Oh, wow. Clarity. God done shanked somebody. God. This guy said, I'm about to. Just, didn't we just talk about stabbing somebody? That was just what I was thinking. Let me see something here. Truth about uh, what somebody has coming in or has been waiting for the truth. Somebody's been waiting for the truth. You're going to get it today. Or it's, however this resonates. Balance. It's going to bring you fast balance. It's going to bring you balance. That's good news. We like good news. Ain't that what churches say? Good news. Most of our church experiences have occurred either through movies or on TV. And that's true. What's up with Sugar Avery? Alright, so somebody's bringing in a couple of. Mm -hmm, he's a big softy. He dresses really nice. He wear too much grease in his hair though. Maybe lay off lay off the grease, homie. That's what I heard. I, I don't I, I don't not even specific. I listen. So somebody took that. That's fucked up. He said that. I wouldn't it didn't you wear too much grease then. I was just looking at the picture, getting what the spirit said. Yeah, this he walked away from something to offer you a couple of he walked away from a bitch that like to wear red all the time or some nigga that like to wear red or somebody that's always in a bag I just heard or always on the rag thank you told you queen of wands somebody's sexy somebody likes to fight a warrior um, maybe he's going towards the queen of wands yeah cause he left behind the, the rag so you got the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. It's a nice balance. They put each, they balance each other. That balance. You got fire and you got water. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna mind sharing with you either. Or he's not gonna share you. He's not going to share you. Or she's not gonna share you. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, Will of Fortune's in your favor. See what happens when you ask God for good news. You get it. Like, share, follow, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, Dad. And y'all got all the protection you need from God. God's beating all them bitches with a bat. That's what I just heard. Switch. You want me to grab switch that? He said you already did, son. You already did. All right. We're going to close the reading out. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, like, share, follow, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post a video. I would appreciate it. Um, I don't have anything else to say this morning except... Um, Find better hoes to sleep with, fellas. Just, and the females, don't be the hoes that these niggas decide to sleep with. You feel me? Just find better people. Just find, do something better. Today, do something better. I'm going to urge you to just do one thing better. I don't give a fuck if it's, I don't know. Find something better to do. One thing. It ain't got to be no big thing. Maybe somebody you go into work and somebody, some bitch got an attitude. You, you don't like the bitch. She don't like you. And you say hi to her and she don't speak to you. Just go. Well, I hope you have a nice day. Instead of what you usually say is, fuck you too, bitch. 
be nice to the bitch. Maybe she needs a hug. Maybe she needs a good friend. Maybe she needs a good homegirl. Maybe she don't trust women. Maybe you got to start looking at stuff from the other side of the fence. You know, if somebody's having a bad fucking shitty day all the time, maybe somebody's just a mean ass bitch at work. You don't have to. Don't assume the fact that they're just mean. Maybe you might want to try to get to know them. I mean, I'm not saying overextend yourself for a shitty bitch. Because if a bitch is going to be shitty after a couple of attempts, fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Okay? Listen, I don't like being curbed. I don't like when people dismiss what I'm offering. Because I know what I'm offering is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you don't, you should always try to be more investigative. That's what I'm saying. But if you just be nice to a person, even though when they're being mean and shitty all the time, they do remember that shit. They really kind of do remember it. When they go home and they lonely and shit. They remember that, I think. Like, oh yeah, that guy was nice. Like, maybe I should... You might maybe, maybe change their mind. I would stop speaking to that. No, you just speak to everybody when you go to work. Or on the street. Not on the street like that. I ain't doing that shit no more. Because motherfuckers is rude. Okay? I don't know how many people I got to walk past on the street and say hello to. And bitch, you just keep walking. Well, guess what? Yeah, fuck you. But that's it, Collector. Let's let's uh, let's let me let y'all go. I'll be back a little bit later. Thank you, God, for everything. Thanks, Dad. Love you, Mom. All right, I love you too, baby. Talk to you soon.